Okay guys, we're gonna show you how to use the new stitching brush and stitching action in the Uni Mockups Vaporflex Jersey template. And so these are pretty easy to use, but if you haven't done this type of thing before, I just wanna walk you through it pretty quickly. Uh, the first thing you're gonna need to do is install or import the stitching brush and the stitching action uh, that came in the package. So if you haven't done that before, um, if you just go to your brush tool, go here, click the little settings gear and do import brushes. Um, it's going to bring up your load button and you're going to want to navigate to wherever you saved your files, right? So I just created a brushes folder um, here on my desktop and here's my stitch brush. Now I already have this imported so you can see it here and then your actions are here now if you don't see actions just choose window and actions and it will pop up and you can drag it over here to make it stay and you can import actions here and load actions over here and then you would do the same thing just find it in whatever folder you saved it in and import the uni mockups stitching actions and then it will be available for you there now before you run anything, you need to choose your stitch color that you want. So you need to have your numbers placed too, by the way. So you've already placed your numbers here, as you can see on this jersey. And uh, in this case, I'm gonna choose a bright stitch color. I'm gonna use our Uni Mockups pink color, pinkle that we like to call it, kind of a pink purple, uh, just so you can see it uh, really brightly on this demo. Um, so that needs to be your foreground color and uh, doesn't matter what brush you have selected or anything because that's going to be uh, selected when you run the action. Um, so you have it selected and I want to stitch these numbers first. So I have the color. I'm going to open my action and in this case this is what in this template is called jersey number high. There's two jersey numbers high and low. This is the high number because it sits up a little higher because there's no uh, logo or text here on the front part of the jersey okay if it was the low number it would sit down a little bit lower if there was a logo or text here on the front of your jersey so we're gonna do the higher jersey number and so here in your actions you just want to find the right one right and for this one it's add stitching vapor flex jersey number high so you just want to select it and click this play button and it's going to run through a series of actions and it's going to add the stitching for you and you can see here you've now got a nice stitching around your numbers and it's added in a new layer it's already got the effects added to it to give it kind of a 3d look okay and that's just for the number on the front of the jersey. What about the number on the sleeves or the shoulders? In this case, you have sleeve numbers. So you want to choose the sleeve numbers action and hit that. And it's going to add it. And you can see the stitching extends outside the jersey. But part of the action also adds a layer mask to hide those stitches. So it adds the stitches on there for you as well. Okay. So that's an easy way to add some realism to your design and some 3D stitching. Hope you enjoy.